Topic of Weather Bulletin number 76. It's March the 1st, 2014, and we currently have two cyclones out there at the moment. Tropical Cyclone 16P near Fiji and Tropical Storm Faxai, which has formed near uh, between Chuk, Micronesia and Guam. We also have three other invests active, or two now as the case may be. Uh, 93S, which is located to the south of Indonesia, 94P located near the Solomon Islands, and 95S, which was around but has now dissipated and been dis declassified. First of all, looking at the Western Pacific satellite imagery, Faxai the storm is the only thing going on at the moment. You can see it heading, edging towards the north at the moment, very slowly, almost stationary, and will soon pass the Mariana Islands as it heads towards the north and eventually northeast. Could become a typhoon, more on that in a moment. The Eastern Pacific, as you'd expect, no storms for this time of year. There's an interesting little feature there of the Californian coast, which may move towards um, the coastline there over the next few days and could produce some rain there. But no tropical systems, and there shouldn't be in for the next month or two at least. The Southern Pacific Ocean, two systems right now. The Storm 16P heading towards Tonga now. It's just about cleared Fiji, the centre of the storm at least, though it's still influencing that area and 94p and invest located south of the solomon islands right now in the coral sea the indian ocean 93s is the only invest now there um, in the eastern part of the uh, region just to the south of indonesia towards the southwest really and slowly trundling towards the uh, west out over open waters uh, that's not really a concern at this moment in time sea surface temperatures then at around 30 degrees near samoa and the fiji area 30 degree waters here, 29, 28 in the surrounding areas. That includes where the current storm 16P is right now. It would be on the very far left hand side of your screen there. So around 29, 30 degree waters there. Um, moving towards the Western Pacific where the other storm is, Faxi, uh, the temperatures around here is around 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. Certainly warm enough to sustain tropical cyclone development for a good time yet as it moves towards the north. As it gains a latitude towards the same latitude as the northern Philippines, 15 to 20 degrees north, uh, sea surface temperatures will go off the boil. Where the current invest is right now, 93S, uh, water temperatures are around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius. Again, certainly suitable for tropical cyclone development, um, though of course other factors may conspire against that storm. Um, the warmest part of the Indian Ocean is just towards the equator, around 30 degrees temperatures water towards the uh, western side of the ocean. So Cyclone 16P right now, wind speeds 40 miles per hour, pressures 996 millibars as of midnight UTC on March the 1st, position 17.6 degrees south, 178.9 degrees west, just east of the international dateline and just east of Fiji as well. So what's in store for the next few days? Well, the storm's going to move towards the southeast, as you typically see with storms in this region, um, and could develop further in the next few days, strengthening to possibly a strong tropical storm or hurricane equivalent cyclone as it moves past the southern Tongalese Islands as it heads towards the southeast, and eventually become an extratropical cyclone in around four to five days' time. But certainly we could be seeing winds of 75 miles per hour sustained and higher gusts as it passed Tonga at the worst case scenario. Uh, elsewhere of course we have our other storm, Tropical Storm Faxai, which has formed in the past 12 to 24 hours. Wind speed is also 40 miles per hour, air pressure 996 millibars. Its current position 8.2 degrees north, 149.5 degrees east. And this storm has been stalling over the past few days um, in the Micronesian island chain region and is finally going to begin moving away from the area heading towards the north and could also attain hurricane equivalent status, a typhoon of course as it is in the western pacific, category 1 which it could sustain for a brief period before it heads towards the northeast, likewise turning post tropical eventually. So looking at the current shear tendency map, this is the Indian Ocean, it's quite a mess as you can see but uh, hopefully you can see it well enough. Uh, high amounts in the south central part of the ocean but elsewhere it's fairly low generally as, as, as shear goes. With regards to the Invest 93S it's around the moderate range 10 to 20 knots and could rise over the next few days in one or two pockets uh, but is decreasing around the cyclone uh, or the area of interest. Uh, this is the South Pacific, you can see the uh, Storm 16P marked by the icon there and you can see towards its southeast a low amount of shear designated by those dark areas and decreasing so it is favourable over the next day or two for the storm as it heads towards the southeast but eventually of course it will increase rather rapidly and that will certainly contribute to the storm's deterioration in the three to five day period. 
Elsewhere in the Western Pacific, uh, again the storm, Faxai marked by that tropical storm icon. Um, low shear around its immediate proximity, but as it moves towards the north, it could increase. It is on the uh, on the wane slightly, but it is still high as, as, as the storm gains latitude and becomes on the same latitude as the Mariana Islands. It will certainly become noticeable, I should imagine, unless it decreases rather rapidly over the next day or two, or perhaps even three. Uh, looking at the Western Pacific right now as well, this is the uh, water vapour imagery. You can see a lot of dry air off to the north of the storm. Not an immediate threat, but could become one in the next two or three days to the storm uh, and could be a quick weakening process um, and also cast a little bit of doubt over whether it will become a typhoon or not. It seems borderline at the moment, could attain 75 mph hour winds, uh, but threats to land are going to be minimal all round I believe. This is the storm right now, Tropical Storm Faxai, which is currently located. Those small islands you can see on the map there towards the uh, right hand side of the image just off centre is Chuk in Micronesia and Guam should be just off the uh, northern side of the image as well where the storm is headed towards, just off to the north uh, west. And over the next few days rainfall amounts in Guam and in the rest of the northern Mariana Islands will probably not be particularly high but perhaps we could be seeing some gusty winds on those islands but I don't think it will be anything major unless the storm tracks further towards the west. Um, it seemed a possibility before the storm formed but it's looking less likely with every passing update. So looking at the CMC model first of all for the Western Pacific, there's the storm Faxai moving towards the north, perhaps north northeast. Uh, certainly not uh, tracking too close to the uh, islands, the Guam and the northern Mariana Islands as it heads off towards the northeast. Could become a typhoon of course. However the GFS model still bears some um, thought because it does take the storm further towards the west and we could possibly see at worst case scenario a typhoon for the northern Mariana Islands are very close to a landfall there as well but not quite. The CMC model for the southern hemisphere uh, you can see a new storm forming near the Solomon Islands that would be Invest 94P right now you can also see the current storm 16P heading towards the southeast rather quickly passing Tonga but without intensifying much and a new storm also for forming south of Indonesia as well between Indonesia and Australia so that's two systems that we're looking at there over the next few days in the Australian region, uh, one of which of course making landfall there in Queensland, so that's certainly something to watch out for over the next few days. Overall predicted season scores for March the 1st, this is our competition that we run all year round. Um, first place at the moment is Monsoon with 4 points, Hurricane Ruby with 38 in second, Mudkip in third with 60 points, but that doesn't mean much at this stage of the season because it's only March, there's still 9 months left of the, uh, of the, uh, of the year. Uh, you can submit your own storm totals at the website, certainly not too late. force13.com forward slash interactive dot html is the main page for all the interactive goings on. And then go through to the Predict the Season 2014 page and submit your prediction. If you wish to enter, 36 have so far. The average user score is 222.8, would you believe? And you can track any storm that forms, or indeed any storms that are currently active right now, like the two tropical cyclones and of course the three other disturbances, or was three, it is now two, at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking dot html is the main page for all the storm tracking information. Of course we run also um, more individualised pages for every individual region, every basin, uh, wherever the storms are, so that may be more of your interest as well. Uh, it's all fairly easy to follow. You should be able to find all the pages you're looking for and all the information you're looking for whilst you're there. Of course, you can also follow us on our social mediums as well, Facebook and Twitter, to search Force 13 on either of those mediums. Um, and of course, our two video platforms now, YouTube and Dailymotion, one both of those right now, um, uploading the videos on both platforms as it stands. Um, and of course, these are the naming lists. You can see we're up to the third name now in the Western Pacific. Um, of course, we've had two already. All three so far have been tropical storms.
Whilst these tropical weather bulletins are uploaded on an irregular basis, the website is uploaded far more often than the bulletin videos, so do check that out uh, to keep up to date with the current storms.